Intellectual property theft remains a concern in 2030, of course. But in addition to simple data theft, manufacturers like Corlo are having to defend against data poisoning attacks. There is a vibrant underground market for stolen designs. Criminals have also developed the means to alter the composition of designs so that the end products do not function as intended. Open source templates have proved particularly vulnerable to poisoning. At its least harmful, the impact means downtime and the cost of suboptimal functioning. In the context of Corlo's sensitive medical and military contracts, the stakes are somewhat higher. Corlo has a little better than basic security, easy to overcome. Uh, I tried to warn my supervisor, but he just fired me, so... Well, I guess he's in on it, too. In on what? Listen, it's... It's not great there. Um, the IT admin team, they're drowning in data. Overworked, underpaid, denied overtime. So they just took matters in their own hands. And, you know, they sold the access. To Carlo infrastructure on the black market. Now that is a serious accusation. Do you have any proof? I mean, all you have to do is search the dark web. You'll find their advertisements. Look here. An SJ500 company. Hello, I am interested in selling full network access to a large corporation. Price negotiable, cryptocurrency only. This, this is astounding. Do you know the sellers? Of course. How deep does this access go? I mean, theoretically, could this group or person be directly responsible for all of these deaths? I mean, who, who's desperate enough to be selling this? And who's crazy enough to use it? This has been a special late night report bringing you an exclusive interview with a brave individual who has revealed the truth behind the Corlo incident. It turns out this was not a bad software update as Corlo and the authorities would have us believe, but a direct attack enabled and facilitated by Corlo's own employees. Friends, we are getting closer to the truth and I will be covering this story until the bitter end. I've been Julia Sanchez, the truth, always. Remember to like and subscribe and see you next time on Report 2030. Hello, Julia. It's 7 a.m. How do you want your coffee? I don't know. Double espresso, then. Would you like to hear the report on your most recent stream? Yes, please. There are 5,983 new comments with 34 quotes in mainstream news portals and over 300 in other online publications. The individual shares on social media are 11,305. And there's a cryptographically signed communication marked urgent waiting for your acknowledgement. Except. Good morning. This is Christopher Holt from the NSJ Police Department. I know who you are. Great. That will speed things up. Uh, I'm really sorry for the early hour, but we have a few pressing questions, which I'm sure you will appreciate. Um, I also have to inform you that this conversation is being recorded. I can see that. <sighs> I wonder, did you happen to pay Richard Graves a visit at such a sociable hour? Miss Sanchez, I've come to ask for help, and it's urgent. We need to speak to the gentleman you hosted on your show last night. You're aware of press privilege, right? Naturally. Okay, great. Since you're here, maybe you could shed some light on the author of the unfounded faulty update story. I I'm also recording this conversation. Naturally. Um... Miss Sanchez, you don't seem to like me. But I fondly remember working with your brother. 
I'm not your enemy. I just want to ask your friend a couple of questions before he gets anyone into any more trouble. Is that a threat? Believe it or not, we want to get to the bottom of this as much as you do. And from what I've seen, he has some crucial information. You know what, I'll pass on your request. Maybe I'll even persuade him to speak with you. But favor for a favor, okay? I want to be the first to know everything that's happening with this investigation. Exclusively. It was nice talking to you. Please give my best to Stephen. We all miss him. Julia Sanchez delivered another bombshell interview about the Corlo incident, a late night live stream that will be a tough wake up call for Richard Graves and his Corlo team. It seems like no organization is immune from the unwelcome attention of today's professional cyber criminals. And an organization like Corlo is a particularly valuable prize. Access as a service is a very well established business model in today's underground economy. Honestly, I'm surprised that an organization of Corlo's experience could have fallen prey so easily. The most important question is still unanswered. Who else had access and why? Who is this guy? Sysadmin? Ops? We don't have thousands of privileged accounts. Why is it so difficult to identify him? As far as HR can tell me, we haven't fired anyone in six months or more. Either our records are unreliable, or this person isn't who they say they are. What about the black market ads? Are they legit? They seem accurate enough. Those underground marketplaces do exist, and some of them are still accessible. If that's true, we could have been compromised for years. You know our share price has dropped 15% already? Let me worry about that. Once we launch the new product line, everything will go back on track. But right now, how do we find these people? Currently, no idea. We are working on correlating all the data we have. Logins, locations, network and data access, reads, writes, everything. But it's a huge volume of data and it's manual. If you ask me, I think we'd have a better chance of catching a break with the cyber division guys. With Corlo, we're talking about a designated critical national infrastructure supplier who have their fingers in a lot of the same pies that our neighbors would love to get a piece of. Collective approval systems, state hacking, influence ops. <laughs> they don't have citizens, they have subjects. Nothing like this could ever happen in New San Hoban. Are you worried that faceless corporations know too much about you? Enough even to anticipate your thoughts? Our cloud-based differential privacy service safeguards your identity. Call Marcus Richardson. Call Marcus Richardson. Call Marcus Richardson. Well, hello there. Oh my God, have you seen the memes after our interview? Hilarious. Marcus, I've been trying to reach you all day. Where have you been? Are you okay? I, I didn't see the calls, what's up? I had a visitor. The police, right? I mean, that's good. Who called? Holt. I told him that I wanted an exclusive. Holt? Christopher Holt? Uh, no, no. No, you cannot trust Holt. He is involved somehow. Well, what, do, what do you mean? What are you talking about, Marcus? This was a mistake. This was a mistake. 